So after the last lesson, we talk about ge uh, geographical like feature of Sichuan province and other things. Uh, today we are talking about uh, um, the Great Wall. This is also a wonder in the world, and uh, it is listed as one of the seven wonders in the world uh, by Chinese people, I think, uh, because in the ancient uh, uh, Europe uh, standards, there's no Great Wall. Um, I suppose. The, um, but now I'm talking about this construction really cost lots of money and uh, lots of labor. So why don't we start it from a very ancient and traditional Chinese story called Lady Mengjiang's story. So this lady is very young and he's just married to a very handsome young guy. And one day there were people coming to the village and said every strong man will be gathered and went to the great wall to do the construction work. First, there were letters from the man, and there were gifts from Meng Jiang. But then, one day, he found there's no letter sending to the home. So the lady is really worried about his, um, uh, his husband. So he made uh, clothes and other things uh, to the Great Wall. Uh, when he entered the place, he saw an, a labor crying down the Great Wall, and he saw the Great Wall was just constructed. Beautiful and very strong, high in the mountain, very beautiful. But he found uh, uh, his husband is not there. He asked for all the labor and asked what happened. The labor said, uh, We have just finished the, the Great Wall, but so many people lost their life here, including your husband. The lady was very um, sad. She cried, cried. Uh, Again and again, and finally, the great wall, of the great wall, and the one watchtower were uh, collapsed. And down the watchtower, there were body of his uh, husband and other neighbors from his village. She found very sad, uh, and uh, she wanted to bury his hus her husband. But now, Emperor Qin heard about these things and became very angry. He uh, told his soldiers to grab uh, Meng Jiang and send to his palace. Uh, he wanted to kill the lady who destroyed the great defensive system, but she, but he found that the lady is very beautiful, so he wanted to mm, make her uh, as his wife. So uh, in this moment, the lady agreed, but she said, "You have to bury my husband uh, uh, very, very good, uh, very beautifully." So the, the king answered, yes, uh, this is absolutely achievable. So the king buried his husband. In the funeral, the, the lady cried a lot and the king found very uh, distasteful and he said, now you are my wife, uh, you shouldn't cry for your ex-husband. Uh, ex the, the lady jumped uh, into the uh, jumped uh, into the um, uh, soil and uh, the, and the died. Uh, died. Uh, she was buried together with his husband uh, because uh, she's really sad and she wanted suicide. He, she didn't mean to uh, become wife of Emperor Qin. But anyway, it is still a very good defensive system. So, like, uh, well, one million uh, people and laborers were collected from all uh, all the other cities in the city, in in the country and gathered in this place. And one third of them died in the construction world, and many of them lost their uh, legs uh, and lost their hands in the construction world because it's totally built by brick by brick, soil by soil and using uh, holy manpower, no crane, no anything, just built by manpower. It uh, is composed of defensive tower and watchtower. <coughs> defensive tower is high, about 10 meters, and there were, um, there were usually soldiers sending into defensive tower, but there are few defensive towers in the Great War. Most of the uh, areas are covered by watchtower, there were usually five or ten men in the watchtower, uh, not the Qishan defensive tower. In defensive towers, there will be 100 men, all equipped with the best uh, arms. And there were also some great cities uh, and great, um, uh, great uh, ramparts near the Great Wall. There were thousands of uh, thousands of hundreds of people gathering there. 
if anything happened, these soldiers will rush out and uh, collide with uh, enemies. So if any man in the watchtower see the enemies coming, usually the enemies are uh, horde of people running from uh, attacking from the north. Uh, these kind of uh, um, these kind of uh, other nations people. So there were smoke and fire um, prepared in the watchtower. Whenever an enemy um, appeared, if it is in morning or in the day, it will use smoke. If it's in the night, it will use fire. The rampart and the defensive tower soldiers will be alert and send the groups of people to watch in the watchtower and to, uh, uh, in, if necessary, launch wars with people attacking the Great Wall. So, Great Wall is very great built, so there are not many wars that occurred on this defensive system. And it's, uh, uh, it is under many times of renovation and reconstruction. The biggest reconstruction was in Ming Dynasty, which uh, formed the, the today's Great War, which is really beautiful and really great, really strong. But now, Great War became a tourist attraction. Something to declare that the Great War is not first built by Qing's Emperor Qing, but by other small kingdoms uh, in the time of uh, seven kingdoms of time. So, uh, so it is not the invention of Emperor Qing. Emperor Qing. So uh, now you guys know the history about Great War. Uh, uh, according to Chinese people, it is one of the seven wonders in the world. So, and also the difficult construction during the Great War, uh, the Great War's renovation and construction. Now you got some uh, basic details and uh, information about this historical and genius building techniques. Uh, now, thank you. Uh, now, uh, this will reach our class end, and thank you very much. Uh, thank you guys for attending my class and support me.